everyone, I'm Daphne from OceanWise. If you haven't heard of us, OceanWise is an organization that is taking action for the ocean today so we can all flourish. We are based out of Vancouver, British Columbia, which is on the traditional ancestral and unceded lands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Peoples. This land has given life to generations of Indigenous peoples and continues to support all of us today and I think we can all learn how to better respect the land, water, and sky around us as they have since time immemorial. To help us learn about respecting nature today, we have our friend Krabby who will be joining us on our adventure. We want the ocean and animals in it to be healthy and happy. Unfortunately, there is something that we often find on the ground that shouldn't be there. Can you think of what shouldn't be on the ground? Hmm. I'm thinking of garbage or litter. But what is a lot of garbage and litter made of? Plastic. Plastic is hard, strong, and flexible. And it will last a long time. But what does plastic look like? Let's take a guess. Which of these are not made of plastic? The answer is... The crayons! They are not made of plastic. They're actually made of wax. Plastic is all around us and we use it every day. Do you see something in your classroom made of plastic? Keep your bum where it is, but point to something made of plastic you see in your classroom. Well done, everyone. We use plastic every day, but should we see plastic on the ground? No. If plastic and other litter is left on the ground, it actually breaks into teeny tiny pieces that are hard to pick up and take a long time to break down. Whereas wood from trees gets eaten by animals whose poop can be food for other life. Plastic can also travel with wind and rain down the street to drains that can lead to lakes, rivers, and eventually the ocean. When it is in the ocean, it can travel farther, even as far as the Arctic or beyond. Visit any coastal beach on the ocean and you might find plastic, a lot of plastic. And when you see it lying there, you might wonder where it came from or where it ends up if it's washed back out to sea. Scientists are wondering that too. Turns out plastic in the ocean can travel almost anywhere given enough time, even all the way up to the Arctic. So next time you're at the beach with your friends and see a piece of plastic in the sand, pick it up and put it in the recycling bin where it belongs. Otherwise, it could end up polluting somewhere as remote as the Arctic. And now you know. But animals also travel around in the ocean. Many whales travel far distances to stay warm and to search for food. Let's see if we can find some food for our friend the whale. Oh. Hmm. We found two different things. Which circle has the food in it? The answer is the second one. We see plankton tiny little animals and algae that is food for many animals in the ocean. The first circle we saw has tiny little pieces of plastic. Ew. We want to keep that litter out of the water. Let's play a game to learn how we can help be an ocean superhero by keeping plastic and litter out of the ocean. It's called Have I Ever. Let's start by showing me three fingers. Now, if you've done the thing I say, 
you can take away a finger. Let's start. I have a container for snacks or lunch that I can wash and reuse day after day. If you have something you wash and reuse for food, take away a finger. I recycle when I can't reuse something anymore. I have helped clean up litter safely with a shoreline cleanup. If you have put any fingers down, you are already helping. But let's practice. Can you help Krabby find the litter that doesn't belong on the ground? I'll give you 10 seconds to point to the litter from your seat. Great job, everyone. Let's see what we found. A plastic chip bag, a can, a juice box, an apple core, and a spoon. Now that we've safely picked it up, it's time to put our litter in the correct bins. Krabby is going to help us sort our litter. When you see each item, say what bin it should go in. That's either the compost, the garbage, or the recycling. The can goes in the recycle. The chip bag goes in the garbage. The juice box can be recycled. An apple core, that can be composted. And the spoon, that's gonna end up in the garbage. Great job, everyone. I think that you are ready for your own Oceanwise Shoreline cleanup together. Imagine how you can help Krabby and many other animals in the ocean with your Oceanwise Shoreline cleanups. From all of us at Oceanwise, thank you for being ocean superheroes and picking up litter safely together.